I think we're there. <laughs> Games having a total mo OBS is having a total moment this morning. But welcome to Friday Daystrums. I am Palpatine001, aka the Senate, and we are doing City Skylines. So we're going to continue on with the Metropolitan Center. We've done one side and now we're preparing to do the other side and we should be able to get Pacifica down today and maybe a bit of luck get Pacifica Heights. If we could get that done today that leaves me free to come back over to Atlantica and prepare the um, university campus because I want this all done by the end of the month ready for um, February for the new map and I need to do industry and before I do that first of all I need to go and find something I think it was was it a Rico building yeah it was a Rico building okay so I need just to just move a couple of items um, yeah see they picked this up as parks so we'll drop one there you yeah, see that has more effects so uh, pick up one there wouldn't mind getting that second one in there so what we will do is we're just doing a little bit of house maintenance first yes 366 so let's shift him over Um, I need to, oh, I think the education's all fine. I think I got that back under control. Yep. Just one moment. Interesting, you can hear the rain in the background. <laughs> nice. Okay, so. Um, so what I can do here is. Yeah, so that's all connected now, so I don't need to worry about that. that's all connected now so that would be all underground so now I can go back here move this over keep them happy now this is gonna be an interesting one now have I got paths to set this all up in theory yes they are all set up Okay, so let's just pop back here, and then we'll just add this Rico there. So we'll be using Rico. So the two things I'm going to be working you through today is Rico and Road Hierarchies. I'm seeing the road... Um, I'm seeing the Road Hierarchy question come up again in a lot of um streams other streams so and it's um well they are veteran players as i am it's tripping up uh tripping up players as well like i had to walk through yesterday with one streamer um the road hierarchies now the good news is is the road hierarchies are intuitive and this is can be done with or without mods so you don't need to worry about it um what i've just got to make sure is that they have a way Yeah, that would be the best way to do this. Uh, I've just got to do a little bit of field work, Chris. Hey, Araxi, I am good. How are you? <laughs> yeah, Friday, depending on your time zone. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is my night streams. So that's 7pm my time, which is at the moment um, GMT plus 13 hours ahead of London. Friday is 
my day stream where I start at nine o'clock in the morning GMT plus video. Although I'm a little bit late today. Yesterday was a bit of a um, crap shoot owing to circumstances in the Northern Hemisphere. And so it was a little bit of a late start today. But yeah, Friday day streams um, I'll usually do start at between nine and nine thirty and carry on through to about lunchtime. But apart from that, we're doing well. Uh, I just need to do a bit of touch up in the city centre. And then we'll shoot back over to the metro centre where we're going to do what the title says. We're going to do uh, road hierarchies, zoning and metro centres. Because um, three streamers got caught up in having to explain road hierarchy. Now there's other, others there. Now I'm tongue tied. There that can walk you through it. But I'll um, just help everyone through road hierarchies and transit because they both work together. But first of all, let's just work out this. So the problem is, is that he can't naturally get over that. So, what we need to do is just, let's just go to our parts. So I can see chat. So let me, I'll work that in a minute. I just need to. Work out how we're going to work this particular one out. They should be able to naturally cross over, but I know they can't. Because I think I need to, um... I need to act it... Oh, I'm just wondering if this will allow me to... No. Let me just TMP. Yeah, so there we go. That should allow crossings there. That allows crossing. That should also be enabled. Okay, so they can cross there. So it's just there to there, and there's no road there, so it makes it a little bit harder. I might need to reactivate a mod to do this. Uh, play and that's the nearest crossing there okay so we did have a case of one there so don't worry I can see chat I just need to correct up some mistakes in the parving yeah so there's the node Anarchy should be on. So that should allow a crossover. And they should be able to cross there. At the same time. Cross there. So that allows them there, there, and there. Traffic fixes. Do them as you go. Sun's busy in the background. Okay. Central, yeah. So you're the same as Kaz. Um, Kaz and... Um, One-off from Yumble, Ever, and... Morning, Danny Loff. GMT, yeah. And, um, Slay. So, okay. Now I know that, Araxia, I can work it. So, yeah, the Friday ones are the ones for you. That's where I do my day side stream. Although, with the work situation, I might be dropping, though. Uh, ooh! Did that, was that two tier ones? And to Gareth and to Easy. Breezy. The gunners are going to be busy this morning. All right, Araxi, you because that's a tier one. You get to name a district or a unique building. And thank you for the gifted. Ah, uh, thank you for the gifted subs. Uh, gifted subs there. Yeah, so let me just maximize this. Yeah, so depending on how my Fridays go with work and I might need to move it to Saturdays. Okay, no, Saturdays don't work, so I'm going to have to jig that. Ooh, I'm going to have to really rejig re the schedules. Ah. Uh, as for me, Danny Off, I'm doing well, so we're back into cities today. Yesterday was The Sims. It's... A bit interesting because I've got a 50 50 viewer split. Half will watch The Sims only, half of them will watch Cities, but all of them will go and watch Tropico 6.
Okay. So the tier one gets um, the reporter up to 2,500. So because it's two, you'll notice the. <laughs> yeah, we all know them. So, Arax, if you go down to Imperial, the Imperial Bribery Credits, because it's two gifted subs, it's two sets of tier ones. Look at the Imperial Bribery Credits, and you can go right up to name a unique building. Is that a Sims one or? Yeah, you can do a Sim, uh, Sims one because I'll just do it on the next available stream. So you can do donate a decoration, name an avenue. Um, throw in a random ad. Actually, I've got to do an ad. Name a Rico building. Name a non intercity motorway. Name a unique building. Or name a business and par uh, park or business for The Sims 4. So let me know, Araxi, which one you want from the Imperial Bribery credits. And I'll give that one to you free. Right, back over to here. So I'm doing paths. So that means I need to do some quick fire. Um micro detailing Woohoo! you're gonna see me do micro detailing okay so oh, once the auto save's gone okay so we need to Ah, I keep doing Sims 4 controls. That's really annoying. Procedural object is currently on. So, one there. Take that back off. Did I just do the wrong one? easiest way to do I did the wrong one rip it's a procedural it's a procedural object so I'll need to yeet skis uh, procedural object should be back on so I shouldn't need to do it again so I'll need to do this a couple of times Because we've one. Two. To be honest, I might just attack this a little bit later on because I was it's gonna consume what we're doing. I can see chat, I just when I'm doing Yeah, so I'll do that in a minute. Um, yeah, so I will do all this in a minute. So that just tells me where they are. So I can come back and do a micro detailing. examples later because micro detailing can well, bores the living daylights out of me but I do okay so that tells me where they are so I can come back to those later let's get to the meat of the sandwich oh, I keep doing sims 4 control you can tell I was doing the sims last night right so the metropolitan center so uh, so that's Papakura. That's a high density area. So this is where we're focusing today. Can we name a cafe in the city? Yes. Morning Ducats? Yes, I'm back. Oh, that's all fine. Lurkers are more than welcome here. And if you've got tasks to do, you've got tasks to do. It's life and that. Don't worry. I'm back on Fridays. I'm going to have to rework the schedule again in February. So, um... Let me just get ducats, uh, not ducats, let me get Araxi sorted. So 
So you've got 2,500. You've got 5,000 there. Okay, so that would be two. That's two cafes. And I've got the perfect ones for you. Yeah, good morning. Okay, so it's two cafes. Have you got names, Araxi, you want me to give them? I've got the cafes. We'll drop them in the metro center. So they're in here at the moment. If you can give me the two names, I will put them in and that redeems those. So, three things today we need to do. Road hierarchy, because we've got people asking that a lot in other streams, so I'll do it here, because we're in the middle of building. Metropolitan centers, what are they? And what was the other one I was doing today? This will teach me not to pay attention to my own titles. Ah, Rico and Suburbia. Okay. So if we zoom out into this mode, you'll, you should be able to see the... Let me bring this back. The different roads and motorways. This is called Road Hierarchy. Road Hierarchy... So I'm a city planner IRL. And so what, it tra what I do, IRL translates into the game of vice versa. So what Road Hierarchy is... Is, um, roads ha have a grouping and they belong to and each grouping operates differently to what it should do so you uh, going from left to right and then right back down so you start off with your what are called laneways and pedestrian shared paths and malls and that which is the lowest form right up to your big motorways which are which their official names are limited access corridors meaning um you have limit there's very limited access you can only gain access to them through a, an interchange there's no and you shouldn't be finding things like walkers cyclists or farm equipment on them so hence the term limited access and the reason why that is it allows for high speed movement of uh, land traffic now the good news is city skylines is intuitive and in road hierarchy so each road like each transit and again this is intuitive it goes left to right for the most part has what's called an optimum efficiency range meaning it's it's efficient and optimal for its set task and what it was designed to do in the hierarchy you take it beyond it you get inefficiencies now and roading that means congestion um pollution and if you follow the, what's called the vision zero concepts um serious accidents and deaths on the road corridor and transit if you take it outside it's um optimum efficiency you get things like transit that's running too slow, it's overloaded, it gets congested, or in some cases it gets caught in general traffic and people simply won't use it and they'll go and use the car. I'll leave Mars Radio on. So, road hierarchy. Now, the good thing is, is the game is intuitive. Left to right, or oh, um, if you're wondering about these, I've got mods enabled, so a few, a few other things will show up. Which is good because the game should have had them in the first place. Left to right, starting from your tiny roads, which are designed for your neighborhoods, for your town, metropolitan, and city centers in the core area, where you want more pedestrians than cars, or even little alleyways. So from dirt roads to plain streets, right up to your little alleyways. Now, an example of this, so as you see here, suitable and the game tells you is suitable oh, let me scroll down all right when i go back into the metro center i will name that so I'll, um this is the goon and ducats done i will do that for you so the game even tells you what it is suitable suitable for. Now there's a couple of assets that are mods in there, but it tells you. So this is designed for very localized neighborhood traffic. So if we go to the downtown, you'll see them in action here. In this case, the one ways. Not designed to take heavy traffic, 
but it, it is enough to allow basic traffic. In this case, I'm using TMP8. So if I go to road restrictions, ro um, TMP is your friend. So I've banned cars and taxis out. So only the service trucks can access it. So as you can see, little two lane road, neighborhood street, not f designed for thoroughfare traffic. Designed for local. And you can also see the, I think it's this one as well. Uh, has it got street lighting? Ah. Pedestrian roads fall in the same category. Except for this one, this one's a medium road. So this one's also in effect. And it just allows zoning. So those are your local roads. Your next one up is your standard run of the mill, bog standard. I think I've got no no auto save. No, it's just having a moment having a mare. It's your standard bog of the mill two lane road. These are called your local roads. And again, the game tells you what they are. Now it comes in two form, it comes in two flavours. Two way, one way. Both have their uses. Both are, uh, again are in this area of the city. Now I've got mods and assets enabled, so there's going to be a, a few more additions in there because I've got Vanilla Plus going. But as you can see, two lane row supports slow traffic. So that's your next step up. So that will usually take traffic off a medium or heavy road, which are your collectors and arterials and it now runs inside the center so downtown's a bit congested i'll come into papakura so i'm just going to jump to the medium roads so your medium roads are your four laners they are classified as arterials but minor so these guys would collect all the traffic coming off the two laners and they move to the four laners. Now you might see a couple of sixes in the same category. That's because I'm running, um, again, vanilla plus. So your medium roads collect the traffic off the two lane. And they will distribute it either between two districts. So in this case, between Papakura and the Metro Center. Or they will feed it out to your large roads. These are your big six and eight uh, if you've got mods enabled, your big eight laners. And notice your speed limits will also increase too. I think I'm running fours there because the traffic didn't warrant it. Let me just find a six laner where I am running a sixer. Ah, that will be, um, two. here we go. That should be a sixer. So here's an example of a six laner. So these are your big major arterials, higher speed, and they are the designed to distribute traffic across the map, across between districts, and also take traffic on and off the motorways. But they're not limited, what's called limited access like a motorway. So every, every Tom, Dick and Harry can still use it. So um, try not have them go from one end of the map to the other. You're gonna set yourself up for a pretty spectacular fail. If you need to do that you then come across okay in america they call them in highways and the in the commonwealth we call them motorways these are your big limited access oh, sun's having a moment these are your big limited access roads that distribute traffic at high speed often across the map so if you're working backwards now from right to left the motorway brings them in um, some cases this will happen you'll use a motorway to feed off but usually what happens is is that a sixer yep that's a sixer perfect so they come in interchange you drop down to a six laner in this case i'm running bus lanes i'll cover that when i do transit hierarchy so the six laner then brings them in your four laners then distributed out or collective going the other way to the respective districts and neighborhoods. And then your small roads and your tiny roads then distribute that traffic inside the neighborhood itself. 
So that's road hierarchy. Now with zoning, you will notice... Rule of thumb. Do not zone anything on a six lane. You can't zone anything on a motorway, so don't even bother. The game won't know that. You don't zone anything on a six laner, except for office. Your high density commercial and residential can go on to four laners, but keep industry off it. Your two laners hold everything else, including industry. And your tiny roads are for when you want to do things like I've done in the downtown. With your six laners, if you are going to put things on, that's where what's called your civic infrastructure sits. Your fire, your police, your hospitals, your schools. Because that allows for quick distribution. But if we come over to the industrial area, you'll see that I've zoned industry on the two laners. But not on the four laners. And not on the six laners. The reason why is industry, like commercial, generate a lot of freight traffic. And if you've put them on the big six laners or your big collectors, that freight traffic interferes with what's called thoroughfare traffic coming through. And that leads to congestion. You'll also notice that I keep zones away from things like cargo terminals. So one there. Uh, one there. And one over here. Again, traffic congestion. Auto save. So that's road hierarchy, the theory. Hey, Alina. What's going on with Twitch? Uh, Alina? Is it coming off my end or is it Twitch itself? So that's the theory on road hierarchy. You'll see it in action as I continue doing Suburbia. So that was the theory. I'll do it in practice in a minute. The other one is transit. Left to right. Buses are great for short distance. Trams as well. Although you can do medium distance. Metro for medium distance. Heavy rail for long distance or intercity. Monorail is a blend between trams, metro and heavy. And I am using monorail in this city. Yeah, Elena, what's happening? Is it um, janking on your end? Or is... Because I've got... It all shown green here. Okay, so let's get these done. So I've got to do two cafes. Okay. So we will name Raccoon Bar. So we will name. So that's one. And then we'll do ducats. Um, might do that one. Okay. I, I know Twitch was very derpy yesterday. And I know th they're going through purging accounts at the moment. Okay. So those are the two. So ducats has a KFC. And Rexus has the Raccoon Bar. Right, so that's Road Hierarchy. You'll see it in action as I go through it more as I continue doing Suburbia, because I've got to do it. Um, continue the Metropolitan Centre. Now, you'll probably hear me use terms City Centres, Metropolitan Centres, and Suburbia. Suburbia, we all know what that is. Your neighbourhoods that are not in the City Centre. We know what a City Centre is. It speaks for itself. So a metropolitan centre from where I reside here in New Zealand is what's called a second tier centre. So we hierarchy our centres from city centre at the top to a neighbourhood centre at the bottom. Your metropolitan centre comes straight after city centre. So if the city centre serves regional and interregional, your metropolitan centres go sub-regional in a city. Although in one example here in Auckland, um, we've got one that also does regional. So your metropolitan centre is your next one down. Now what you'll find in them is high, med medium or high density residential and commercial. Um, companies that might have a headquarters in the city centre might have a satellite. Satellite might have a satellite in the metro centre for their workers, so they don't have to travel across the city to work. So we're doing the metropolitan centre to service this area. We've got the city centre here. 
And when I do the campus, we'll develop another metro there. So, we did this yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, yesterday was Sims 4. The day before. So we're using Rico. Now we'll come along this side. So we'll do big box retail. Enjoy the lurk. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Just need a drink. Also, let me run a pre-roll quickly. <laughs> so what we will be doing is we will do some big box retail on this side. And it's a medium density residential and then we'll pop into suburbia one thing i'll have to watch is industrial demand and i need to get two cargo terminals set up as well oh the game Wow, Twitch is having a moment today. Right, I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to grab myself a coffee, but I also run the ad pre rolls to uh, run the ads to stop the pre rolls for when people come in. Oh, wow, Twitch is having a moment today. I can't access my um, controls. Ooh, okay, I'll note. Oh, wow. Okay, no, we won't be doing that today. Okay. I'm just going to have to put up with pre-rolls. I see what you mean, Elena. I can't access half my Twitch controls this morning, so they must be going through overhauls or purges. Hmm. That's fine. Okay, so let's focus on big box retail. So we're using RICO. So RICO stands for Residential Industrial Commercial Office, or effectively, your zones. Residential Industrial Commercial Office. But rather than using the zones, I am plopping down the buildings you find in the zones or unique buildings converted and plopping them down so I have some uh, micro control over them. One other advantage of Rico, um, apart from when he's busy nuking bugs and Starship Troopers, is it allows for what's called mixed use buildings. So some wonderful asset builder using Rico and using Move It and using Anarchy has allowed to create mixed use buildings. So normally in City Skylines, as we know, buildings only take a single use. Residential, industrial, commercial, office, Rico. But, notice it says commercial. Notice it says residential. I've got commercial and residential on the same set of tiles in the same building, and they're functional. You can jiggle them or you can change them around to be commercial office, residential office, industry, although you wouldn't, and so on. 
So the game does allow mixed use with a little bit of a little bit of persuasion. At the same time, I'll just take that off. I also use Kite's Zone Mixer. So I've got seven extra zones. So if I put down the Z1, it can build either low density residential or low density commercial. So you get some format of mixed use. Right. So we're going to go use Rico. And we're going to do this. So I need a Mitre 10. I'm just also wondering, okay, before I do, oh, repairs with that, that woke me up. So, that can go there. Actually, no. I'll... Um, so, normal style of gameplay is... What the heck are we doing? Wow. Game's having a totally normal one. What's it picking up? Oh, well, I've seen the game do weirder things. Okay, so... Oh, is Anarchy on? Okay. Rip. So that's wolves. Uh, theoretically, that would... Uh, oh, shoot. Prop Anarchy's on, too. Damn, I hate when I do that. Oh, funny game. I need to really change my hotkeys. Okay, so let's do that again. Where's that going to sit? Ooh. That works actually very nicely. So what I'll need to do... Now the great thing about... So... My style of gameplay is I use the zones. So I build the infrastructure, put down the civic infrastructure, plot the zones, do the transit, and we're off. I think Twitch has just yeeted everyone. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, is it totally gone yeeta doodle do? Oh no! Oh rap! <laughs> okay, if you can hear me, it looks like Twitch has failed. Because I've lost all of you. Oh, rip. Okay, one moment, folks. Just one moment, folks. I'm just going to try and get a hold of a couple of other ally streamers. I think Twitch has had a total, absolute total moment, and it's just yeeted everyone. I apologize for this interruption. Um, 
Okay, so, okay. Araxi, what's happened is... Um, I can't see any of you. You're not showing up in my chat. I can't access my Twitch controls. So that means any interactions through the um, through the um, Imperial Bribery credits so that mightn't show up initially. If you can still hear me and type in chat, that's fine. But I'll show you what's happened. This is oh, this is Twitch right now. Whoa! Whoa again! Hey, hey, Mushy. Hi, Jen. I can't see anyone. So, if you can still hear me and see me, excellent. Persevere. But I can't access my controls, and I can't see you. That's oh, okay. No. Oh no! Kiss, kiss. Trouble with the silly computer. Trouble with Twitch. Well, you have to have a break of it. Okay, give me a kiss then. Good girl. Break of the. Um, All right. computer, so you don't go <laughs> Miss Mini Palpatine's giving me tips and tricks. Well done. Kiss, kiss. That's what happens if you also restart it. She's actually got a point there. I might need to restart Twitch if it continues. All right. We'll continue through chat. We'll or continue. Just leave it. Yeah. We'll continue through. Sweet. Thanks, Araxi. Yeah, so we'll continue through um, because if anything else, the VOD will be available. Because it is telling me I can still do the VOD, so I might just upload the entire VOD to YouTube later on today. But let's push through. So we've got the mighty, so we're going to do this side. So we'll, I might actually make that a. Might make that a one way just for traffic sense. So, um. That one could even be better. Yeah, I'll use that one. I don't want parking. I think that's doing that because. Yeah. Okay. So, I think what's happened there, I'll knock him out. Take Anarchy back off. Okay, I think what's happened there is it. And then switch back over. That might be the nodes playing up. Okay, we've got it. Okay, so what we'll do here... That's now the nodes playing up. So come down here. Where... Ooh, the nodes have been sensitive today. Okay, so I'm just going to be careful. I've got sensitive nodes. So we will continue through. So we'll push in. So that's the Mitre 10 sorted. And what I'll do here quickly is because we've got a metro station, a uh, metro line there. So yeah, we'll now use Rico. To build the metro, the most of the metropolitan centre, um, I will actually use this one. So uh, take this off. Prop anarchy on or off? It's off. Good. Okay, so that's... I 
and then I'll disable the zoning on that one and go straight to so I'll need that back on Not shift P, it is control A. It's anarchy. Okay, I'm gonna also just. I'll just turn that off. We all know about it. to drop down oh I think I'm gonna actually you know what I am actually gonna use that for the entire lot so take anarchy back off I'll actually use that for the entire set so let's just turn that back over control anarchy back on Might have been a little bit. Is that drop down a little? Oh, that's not bad. Okay. So take anarchy back off. Turn my node snapping back on. Turn that around. Okay. So if we were to drop down, that's what that would look like. So you can't. Oh, a little bit wonky because I haven't gone totally. Might just. Might just redo that one. Might just redo that fence quickly because that was a little bit off. Shouldn't need node snapping again. So, give me. In fact, if anything, it might keep it. That's better. Okay, so that's the Mitre 10. We've got the parking there, so now we need to work out some more Rico building. So this is a case of mix and match. Uh -huh. um, what else have we got? Is that going to fit? Yeah, ironically it does. I'll hold that off for a minute. What do we got here? Ah, uh, might have a fight here. Let me just work out some more roading. Wow, the game is totally having a normal one today. Oh, and it's because I'm using a tiny road, so that's gonna that's gonna happen. So that one would be suited for in here. Rico. I suppose it's going to do that because of... So we've got a big garden store there. Uh, big. There's, there's no supermarkets on the side, is there? 
It is not. Uh, what did I put on this side? So I'm going to repeat it. I think that's a Colosseum. Okay, so that means he would... Uh, this is the only problem using tiny roads is they don't allow for a perfect lineup. <laughs> That's okay, it's not going to bother me too much, because... What I will do is use... Move it to move it. Okay, so that's the Woolworths. So that means the next one should be... Parking. Scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, so that's gonna not... Where the inch... Okay, now that will perfectly line up. To be honest, if I do this properly, that would also be... Parking. I wonder if this one's going to fit. Yep. Definitely fits. And if I was to do this properly, so we shoot back down to... One back to parking. That's fine, and then come back down to my parving. Now I need to bring my nodes back off. So at the moment, I'm just con controlling a lot of, doing a bit of detailing along the way. Okay, so Frank, uh, sorry, Anarchy doesn't need to be back on. Okay, so that's done. That So that allows them access, they'll walk across that. Okay, so that's that done. So back over to Rico. That is tempting to do. Uh, if I've got anything in the high density um, department I want to use. Yeah, I do actually. So I might drop him. Prop Anarchy is off. Residential. Scroll along. Mixed use. I need Anarchy on. Anarchy back off. Okay, so that allows for that. So I've got all this to work on. In theory, that would all be parking. So let's um, give it another... Let's have a look at what else we've got here. I need to do the gas stations in that too. I think I've got... Whoops. So what we might do is ah, that's a bit annoying when that happens the zoning is um... oh I know that is that actually going to allow me to do that oh nice so there's the gas station oh no we've got some back
that could work. I need to re-enable a part of assets too, because I know they're not all here. That could... So, yep, drop him there. And I am going to drop another gas station in. Fills in those. To be honest, if I'm going to do that Main Street one again. Oh, nuts. Ah, uh, hmm. I would actually drop it. So, I would actually drop him. Ooh. Can I go just one more over? I would drop him there. That's there for a reason. Everything in city planning has a reason. Whether it's good or bad, that's up to you. Um, if I've got anything on the leisure and tourism side I can dump in here. That might be too big. Yeah, it's too big. Um, that will work. I've just got to be aware of the noise, that's all. Or would that actually work? What I say? Okay. Oh, it looks like Twitch is coming back up. Actually, owing to noise rolls, I'm actually going to dump him. There. Uh, leisure buildings have a lot of noise and they operate 24-7. So if I was to back this with residential, I would get into major trouble. Um, theater doesn't have the noise rules as the others do. An office would actually work there. Have I got office available? I think they're all big, big boys. Not government offices. Ironically, that would work. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just working out my offices now. I might actually. Because some wise person thought it would be good to stick an office there. Because reasons. Um, back to back over to my room. Okay, so this is gonna have a bit of a derp, is it? It's just because the way the zoning tiles are sitting, it's gonna not particularly. Uh, like me at the moment, that's fine. I do have that in mind, so don't worry about that. Need a KFC. I'll go for the smaller one in this instance. Oh. No, I might actually go for the larger one. So. Okay, if we're going to do that, then... KFC down there. And do pathways to connect that up. Leaving. Now the Maccas are always special in that you need to do their zoning. Uh, do their fences and that. Because this does not come with... So, so I'll just take that off. Good thing about doing the McDonald's is it does allow for micro detailing. I've done one up in another part of the city.
So I can come back along and detail that later. So that would be using the props and so on. Let's just go. So I'm using the paintbrush tool. I'll along. Doesn't matter if it doesn't perfectly line up the fence because that funny game. So that's there and then if I was to do then just So I can come back and do that. So that's the Mac is in place. Okay, back to Rico. Um, don't need any gas stations. So we'll come along and do a Panda Express. How big is he? Okay, I think that's, you know, you're not gonna do, I might, okay, I might actually have to leave him. Ooh, okay, okay. I might actually leave that with parking. Can I get him in here? Can I go control A without dropping the path? Yep, that works. Okay, so I also just need to watch, um, oh, where's the metro station? There. So we've got this big boy over here too. I think that's office. Oh, pardon me. Okay, so we'll continue along with the metro. So that's there, so I think we can just um, come back over to Behave Game. Thank you. Parking. Da, 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 da. Um, I think that might be a bit too... Or would it... Yeah, just a bit too big. So we'll go to... Oh, perfect. Absolutely spot diddly on. And because these sit in the park assets, I, and it's a strange sense of irony, is they will actually uplift the area too. Where an IRL... Oh, oh, that, oh that's a... Oh, what a nut. Oh, what a shame. I could alter the fencing. In fact, it's actually going to be very tempting to do. So that's fine. I don't mind it demolishing the fencing because I'll just come back along. Because um, that's actually... So. I might just have a control anarchy needs to be on. Oh, I know what to do. Let's do this. And then you just come back out. Invalid shape. No crap Sherlock. Not what. So if we were to drop down. That's what it would look like. So, yeah, an inside. Uh, it doesn't like first person mode at the moment. So yeah, that's what it would look like. As much as I test parking, given this is what it is, it needs to be done. Okay, so that's that. 
Actually, so I've got that to work. I mightn't fill up all the Metro Center immediately either. So rule of thumb, you don't need to fill in everything at once. That's out of kilter. We've got anything smaller. Smaller. We do is prop on our key on. Yeah, it is. Okay, so nothing's going to fit there. What about going up the other way if I was to flip it over? No. Okay. So, in that case, he can come up one. Oh, that's a little bit smaller. Is that going to fit? Yay. Can we go slightly higher? Prop anarchy is off. So the workout, two story or... And the good thing about Rico is it tells me how many jobs there are. Okay, so you got that one. Or that one. I think we might just drop that one now one thing i've got to remember is all these have jobs i've got to make sure i build the residential on the other side otherwise it's gonna they're all gonna be screaming for jobs it's like uh, ooh. and it's a literal case of oh fudge uh, i think that's a four one two three four yeah so that won't work okay so there's the office don't need um <laughs> i actually do need that we'll do it now So, parving straight to the big eight meters uh, with the suicide fencing on. Okay. Um, I will drop that down for the moment. So, straight. Anarchy back on. So that was crossing over. And. That allows for that to happen. And then I can uh, no the tram couldn't run down that side I'd have to run down the other side so that wouldn't work anyway oh no we'll leave it just I might just give me a second One moment, folks.
<laughs> Do you know? Hey, Connor, guess what? That's my seat. No, <laughs> he just got clobbered. Say hello to Connor. Here's Connor. One free Connor show today. Here's Connor. <laughs> and for a bonus, come here, you go. Oh, shush. Here's Juno. Here's our Reggie. And she's going, oh, ready, boss? <laughs> Get down, Connor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh that's alright duckheads we had twitch just throw we just had twitch literally throw everyone out of the chat and out of twitch um so you didn't particularly miss much with those shenanigans This is like auto save. Connor. It's raining today, so the cats are being lippy with each other. So we're continuing with the Metropolitan Center. I'm just over on this side. So the Metropolitan Center is in three parts. So I'll just turn the nodes back on. So you've got so they actually tend to click four parts. So you've got this section, this section, this section, and I'm over here at the moment. This part I might leave blank, or it's going to have civic infrastructure dropped on it, depending on what I'm going to uh, do. And to be honest, I think for... Uh, where are the bus stations? There and there. G'day. I have tomato soup. Good girl. And I like it. <laughs> Complaining about noise and it's a gas station. Actually, I might move that along. Move that along one. Go figure, we're going to complain about the noise of a gas station. Uh, a bus station next to a gas station. Uh-huh, uh -huh, game. Funny. Um, I think it was an 8 metre. Yummy. I like this. Good girl. Okay, I just might need to take the nodes back off. So I'll just need to demolish this. Go back to eight. And just do a very long connection out. And then run that one all the way up behind. So they actually do use these. You build enough paths in that and they actually do have a tendency to I don't know if that connected, we'll soon see when we go back online. Okay, so we turn around. Yeah, I might leave, might leave that area alone. Next stop, go to town. Mm-hmm. So we've set up a lot in the... Okay, so back to parking.
I might just use the tool to dummy this. Yep, that works fine. Bye bye. See you later. And if I do that somewhat semi properly, we go back to. Take the nodes back off. Okay, so that leaves a gap there and there. I'm just wondering if that will allow me to. Go there. And there. Okay, so that's that done. I'll leave this area blank for the moment. So we've got the three areas set up. That means all I need to do. Ah, I know what I do need to do in this. I am wondering if this is going to work or miserably backfire. This needs to be done. I'm just hoping it's just not going to cause an absolute crap shoot. We'll soon see when I release the zoning for this what's going to happen. Um, I can also be office. Okay, so the Metro Center, for the most part for now, is complete. At the macro level, that is. I haven't done micro, that will, I'll do off to you otherwise you're going to be here for weeks doing the micro detailing. So now we can set up for suburbia. As I said, I've left this area alone at the moment because I can uh, come back and backfill those. That said, let's get in... Let's get in our civic infrastructure. So that takes care of those. I, I don't want that sitting there so he can go there. Um, I will need that said, where is it? Should probably build another one of these by now. So that's that dump. Okay, so the Metropolitan Center, for the most part, is now complete. I'll just name this, so what is that? We'll have a fucking type. It's because the keyboard's over it. This will be used for transport line manager later on. So that just tells you. Okay, so that's the Metropolitan Center complete for now. I can all, um, I will come back and then, like this spot has been absolutely freed up. So I can decide what to put there um, later. Next thing I need to do is do my lane mathematics. So let's just fix this up now. Oh, I haven't. Let's do this n now. Okay, and then the giveaways are. Straight. 
straight done like that. Now I just need to go and work out, um, find any traffic lights and turn them off. Or so. Enable my giveaway rules. So let's quickly do this. So I'm just... That's got more stacking space, so that can be priority as a giveaway. It's fine, it's all one way. So using a lot of... I'm just doing my lane math and max to make sure these are done correctly. That's fine, now I just need to do my lane junctions. Is that a one way? It is two. Okay. Make sure we've got no more. So that's all fine. Y yay. So that's the Metropolitan Center complete for now. Doesn't mean I won't. Oh, uh, there's one thing I have not done. Ha ha ha. Let's finish this path off. It's Christmas! Hey, Bopper. How are you, mate? How's it going? And yeah, it's Christmas somewhere in the world, just like it's five o'clock anywhere in the world. Time for that gin and tonic. Ooh. So we've just finished the Metropolitan Centre. So I'm now going to start getting ready to do... Propane the better be off. So I'm now going to get ready to do Suburbia. So that connects them up. Yeah. Right, so we've just finished here. I will come back and do the transit last because... No! Oh god, don't... Ooh, yee! I accidentally let the simulator rip. <laughs> eight minutes to... Oh, well, there you go, eight minutes till GNT time. Right, so we've finished here and here. This has been deliberately left blank for now because I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So now let's get ready to do the next part. Let's get ready to do Suburbia. So, let's go down to our... Oh, where, oh, where is the node gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? There it is. Cute. Nodes have been ultra sensitive today. Okay, so that's that done. Because I'm particularly lazy in doing roundabouts. Uh, you know, I'll run it straight as a two. So go one more. And then I just come back. What I do is I build it as a two laner. And then I've got the vanilla plus road assets in play, which means I can. I was going to say, you better not have yeeted my assets. Uh, that one. Then I just come back along and do three Zs. So that's that done. And come back across. Okay. So let's get ready to build Suburbia. Now this Suburbia is going to be using all the New Zealand assets I've... Um, game, you dirt me some days. You really do. I might use the narrower one of the two. Have I got it available? I do. Bad peanuts assets are... See, that gives it a narrow actually I might might swap those over so give me a second I mean, this is a case of changing assets 
in the end. Ah, oh, I think the reason reason why that I do that is that's anticipating trams. Because if I was to go uh, get ready to build a tram line, which will eventually happen, so where is it? No, not that one. That's yeah. So that's why it's done. It allows me. Otherwise, I'll have problems with the roads. So as you can take, yes, there are bus lanes. Okay, so I'll go back to this. So we'll just go do... Okay, again. Roundabout. Forty-eight meter wide. Uh, that can actually be. Um, that can be a narrower one this time. Right. Okay, so you can see how it's going to flow out. Okay, so, yeah, I know I need to connect one there. That might be straight out traffic lights. Oh, auto save. Sip of coffee. So what I'm doing is I've now got to anticipate for the tram. So the tram would actually come along here. So that can actually now drop back to a two-laner. Oh wait, no, if that's going to go over, that's going to remain, yep, no. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Because there's going to be a bridge there. So back to, back to the heavies. Um, sorry, I'm just working out tram patterns. Of course, I've got to realize there's going to be a bridge there, so. Back over. Three. It's fine, because that's going to be sitting on a major junction. Now, this is where the big um, asymmetricals come in real handy. I've just got to work out which asymmetrical I'm going to use. And if I want to use bus lanes or not. This is going to be... This is what I've got to work now. Because this is going to... Because um, the bus lanes are active, I'm also... It bans cars out... So it would work. So where's the node? Because the other one I can use is this go. It's also, am I going to have buses running down here? The actual, actual answer to that is, um, yes, actually, I am. Okay, so that allows that. And I can technically do that. Yeah, so that allows stacking space in and out. And buses don't um, ignore lane arrows. So we need to go back to my asymmetricals, which are here, and flip that over. Yeah, so that allows for that to happen. Okay, so that feeds him in. So again, road hierarchy. We're now building our collectors before we start filling in the spaces. I've also got to anticipate... There's a, I haven't done the cargo line yet, so I've got to anticipate him as well. I'll do him off stream. So back over to our bus lanes. So down we go.
Um, that is too close to an intersection, so that would not get built. Game is... Sun, leave the... Okay, so that's that. Now, yeah, that is a bridge, isn't it? Perfect to bring the tramway down. So again, I wouldn't run trams underneath. Oh, no, because they would run... Ooh. Is there another heavy rail station nearby? No, there's not. As the old saying goes, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, I've got to make sure that's 90 degrees first. So the best way to do that is actually... Let's actually bring him out. So it's not perfectly aligned, but... Sissies are not perfect. They are nowhere perfect. Never will be. Oh, that's actually going to work. Um, I think that's something there's a metro liner. That's actually going to work brilliantly. I'll show you why in a minute. So that goes in there, so we'll put it back to a 3Z. You can probably hear the rain, it's actually raining quite a bit. Okay, so back over. Oh, okay, we're gonna um, come off slight balance. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. So. We will want to build a transit connection there, and cycleway, cycleway, cycleway. Ah, oh, there's the intersection there. Okay, so I'm now going to use a network extension to road and build a busway. This will eventually. This has no zoning to it, so when I want to replace it with tram, it's not going to matter. So um, I'll use him actually. I do use these from time to time because they make great rapid access transit funny game. Hang on, let me just. Okay, so that is a straight out busway. They don't allow zoning next to it, they're not designed to. But that allows a rapid access point for buses and service vehicles, so the post and utility vehicles will use it, to access two different points. Okay, so we... Going back to road hierarchy, there's the big collect, there's the big arterial coming off the highway. And he forms all the way down to the next motorway interchange and then flows into the city centre. You'll notice no zoning is attached to it. There might be civic infrastructure, but there's no zoning. Then we drop down to our four laners, which are our um, mini arterials or feeders. And they're now feeding to inside the district. And you can see they form islands. So the next part I'm going to do is drop down and now use my two laners and my laneways to now start forming up the neighbourhoods. Before I do that, so this is an industrial area. So I've got to be... So if, uh, if that's going to feed traffic. I'm conscious of that they're going to... I might activate us I might activate a district policy. So they're gonna come up, use that to access that. So I don't want them to do that, I want them to use the arterials. The industry would use that. No, I I
I what I'm contemplating is whether I build a bridge there. The problem is all the industrial traffic is going to come flooding over there. So the answer to that is no, I do not. But using again my network extensions assets. Come up twelve. Woohoo! Is that will tell me that's a bicycle boulevard so how that puppy works and I'll need to ban the traffic out of it later so no will allow for that okay so again the traffic hierarchy motorway I'm using asymmetricals that's the six laners here six laners to take them off to go into the feeders and then now we're going to drop down to community level neighborhood level so the zoning we're using is ind industry. Now I'm just going to try something again. And I'm hoping this is going to work because I really want to knock this off. I'm actually going to upload the entire VOD into YouTube because of the disruption we've had with Twitch today. Ah, it's working. Wow. Oh, that's kicked everyone out. I'm just gonna run a pre. I'm just gonna run ads to knock off pre rolls. So that allows me to grab some food and that quickly, and then I'll go. We'll drop down and do the neighborhood stuff. So we'll come right down. So yeah, I will upload the entire vod today, and then I'll pick out highlights uh, next week. So I'll be back in two minutes.
All right, let's continue on. So this is all low density. I've also got to now work out um, where a small micro town center is going to be going. And it'll most likely be in here. Okay, so first thing I need to work out is the district command. So. Ah, auto save right on top of a district. Thump. Okay. Right. So let's drop down to our two laners. And today we are going to use... This is low density, so... We will use this one. So we'll start forming up the borders. Okay, here we go. Sup, mush? Haha, <laughs> I be careful then. G'day, son. So, it's... Because the roads are slightly... G'day, son. Okay, so we're going to have to... Ooh, the nodes are not... So this is going to be a lot of... Uh, free balling. So let's... Ah, so let's get this down. This is low density, so the two laners are going to work fine for this. Um, I've just got to realize that's also a metropolitan center being built there. Uh, sorry, a small town center. So run him there. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a problematic issue. So I think the best way to run that... Yeah, just come straight down. I'll change some of the streets over later. Okay, so that allows for that. Yeah, they. Oh, have you found Juno? Yeah, right, you grushy girl. Senior cats. Senior cats. Always the senior cats. Oh, perfect. Because. Okay, so what I will do is this Yitzki's him out. Okay, so what I also need to anticipate is I need to do a little small. So I'm just going to jump back over. Um, yeah, alright, I will in this case. So I'm just going to. If you're wondering what I'm doing. So we'll just change that around. Okay. And then okay, so he's there, he's there, he's there. Okay, let's anticipate the um oh, those asymmetricals. So if you ever hear me use the term asymmetrical, what I am look meaning is it's um, not the lanes aren't even on both sides. So this is an asymmetrical. So two plus one, three plus one, three plus two, four plus two, and so on. And the reason why you have that is it allows the balance of the traffic. So in this instance, we. Um, I, actually, asymmetricals aren't even going to work there. So. Straight out. And what we do there. Uh, oh. You know, that actually. Sorry, that does work. I forgot that's a feeder, not an arterial. Uh -huh. Arterials are all the way over there. 
Okay, so that's one set. So we'll do the next set. Okay, so now we rinse and repeat. Um, wrong way. Normally, I could use a shared. Um, but I don't really need to in this instance. I'll I might use it on the other side. So, uh, wrong way. So back into these. Okay, so now we do the same exercise again. Okay, so... I mean, that's because it's not picking up a node. Which is a bit ribbity doo -da. So we'll come on to this side. Okay. Down we go, down we go. This one will be a little... Ready, game? Get... Down we go. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Heck. Oh, that's perfection. Well, that was a fluke. Absolute fluke. I don't mind those. I'll need to scroll in so I can see where the zoning is going. Okay, so that's him in. Ah, it's not liking the nodes today. That's, it's been a bit precious with the zone, uh, the nodes. You can probably hear the kids running right in the background. I'm going to have to go and see what they're up to. This time, this one will work. Oh, is that a narrower... It is, but it's... Oh. Girls and son! Yeah, so that's the town centre, so... Okay, so that's perfectly fine as is. I do need to do another connection out, so I will just do a standard little crappy... Um... Really, I should be using... Should be using these, but these don't really work well in... Winter assets. Oh, does this one lower noise as well? Yeah. So we do have these as. Oh, they're playing down this end of the lens, okay. Oh, it's decisions, decisions whether you want to use this one or not. I might. Yeah, for this instance, yeah, we'll use these. Because I've got, because I'm meant to be doing cycleways and all that. So. I will use them. Okay, so that's there, so I just need to do... I just need to do one here, so find the node. Because it's also going to be a case of coming out through here too. Um, yeah, I do need to do another one over here. So, uh, this is where your road's not balancing up, don't work properly. If you're thinking that they will do the zigzag pattern, they won't. Speeds are too low. That is asking for automatic trouble. Um, have I got an asymmetrical to handle that? Yeah, I do. 
So let me just flip to the asymmetricals. Wrong way. Yeah, you're gonna have stacking capacity. Oh, I'll do the lights and that in a minute. And yes, that is Cicacious for a reason. Um, to be honest, knowing how that crapshoot's going to run, I will... That just allows for a bit better um, accessibility. I don't need to worry about it there. Next one. So, back over to... Now that's an arterial, so I've got to anticipate noise. Oh, that's going to work even better. Okay, so that's fine. So as you can see, road hierarchies and full effect. Um, this time we can. I'm going to have to adjust... I'll adjust these because you can't, cars can't turn left out of the bus lanes. So I'll have to readjust the bus lanes as well. Okay, that allows for that. So we, he can come straight down. Ooh, cheese sounds good. I want Okay, I might break protocol. So I could break, I could break protocol and and I'll readjust those in. Okay, so that's there. Um, that will need to be um, an asymmetrical. Nope, oh, no auto save shouldn't be on. So what are we doing? When I do the transit, you'll also see how uh, road hierarchies will kick in. Wrong way. So that just gives stacking capacity out. That connect, I'll do him now. So that's fine. Okay, so that's that, that, and that. So I am not going to connect you. Speaking of road hierarchy, don't connect that to here. Your traffic is just going to get poked. You want to keep as limited as intersections as possible, especially if it's coming off a motorway. Connect it back to your feed. Connect it back to your feeders. Okay, so we've got a metropolitan center there, so I've also got to now anticipate noise. And this one's a bit lucky, he's got a transit center right on top of him. Okay, so back over. Wrong way. This time I am going to use these. These are shared spaces. This is because we're right on top of a metro. So, um, flip. I might. I think it's just because the way that's just going to sit. So, let me just turn that around. So I don't want... Oh, okay. 
Oh, not as bad as... And it's like, okay, so that's there, 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 and there. So where's that going to come out of? Yeah, that's a good question. Let's go back. And I'm not going to bother with bicycle lanes on that one. So we're going to have a bit of disruption on the bus lines. And to be honest, that would be a straight up... Is that what I say? Use a pedestrian mall. So that's... Dun, dun, dun. Um, trying to get your roads all lined up. It's like, yay. It's like, oh. Okay, um, let's just work this out quickly. So we've got there, there, and there. Okay. Shoot back over to these. Hey, Rexy. Oh my goodness, has it been offline that long? Oh my goodness. Has it really been down that long? Oh well, Twitch is really having a moment. Just one moment, just check the control panel. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, well, to trust today to be a rip stream. Yeah, they're only just coming back up to full power now. <laughs> oh, no wonder why I can't see or hear anything. If chat decides to go down. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just doing a 60 second one just to make sure everything's fine. I'll come again. <laughs> well, at least you can hear me. Oh, what a day. Oh, Twitch. Oh, I can't do a bonus stream tomorrow because i got to take towards swimming lessons. Oh, depending on how Monday goes, I might do a bonus stream on Monday. <laughs> yeah, that's Connor and Juno. So Connor's one and Juno is seven. So Juno's in the chair behind me. And Connor is in his space up on the shelf behind me. Hey Salty, how are you? I, it's a fill me in guys, cause I'm, I've just gone to, okay, the ad run should be out, so you should be able to fully hear me if you're not sub. Okay, so fill me in guys, what's been going on? I've just, um, popped back into Twitch, the controls. I couldn't do ads before, I couldn't see chat. Obviously you couldn't chat to me. The follow list wasn't coming up. I noticed Jim, J Jam Jim had all of his followers. Then he got yeeted. I think he got yeeted and he was like down to single figures. He's just come up again. So has Twitch really been derping in and out, has it? And good to see you by the way. Salty, welcome to the stream. Wow. Oh no, well, that's not gonna do the algorithms any good today. And Fridays is usually a um
um, my popular one for North America and um, part of the European continent that doesn't get up at, up in the morning. Ugh. Like if chat plays up on my evenings, like if Twitch plays up on my evening streams, no major one, but I do to be in all honesty with you chat, I do get um, considerably cranky if it yeets my Friday. Yeah, okay, so you couldn't see. Yeah, it's the Discord. Okay, yeah, now that's a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, salty, yeah. As I was saying earlier, I don't mind if... It, well, I do mind it full stop being a streamer. But if, if I rather take on my evening or day streams, if it was to happen on the evening one, that's not too bad. But if it happens on my Friday streams, yeah, I get, uh, that is extremely annoying. Oh, okay, so that's a straight, um, this one. You know what? Slot it. And I'll just cul-de-sac that. Okay. And so Twitch has had an absolutely momentous day today. Congratulations. Well. Well, welcome for those that are here. Welcome to City Skylines. I am Palpatine001, aka the Center, and we are working, continuing on Antarctica City. So what we have been doing over the last couple of streams was we built out Papakura earlier. We've just, I fin did the last of Pap uh, Pacifica Metropolitan Center two streams ago and today, and we're now moving on to suburbia so this will be all low density apart from in here which will be high density <laughs> maccas yeah so in the common uh in australia and new zealand mcdonald's is called maccas so what uh we are just getting ready so i've got kiwi assets that will be used in pacifica okay so with the road heart with it in place now the parks will fill out the last small part so as you can see now you can now see the road hierarchy before i let rip with building so if you're seeing buildings in here that's because i've used rico so residential industrial commercial office so you can now see the road hierarchy pretty much in full effect as I was mentioning at the beginning of the stream, with roads, transit, and industry, so roads, transit, industry, the game is intuitive. But like any tools, the tools are only as good as the user using them. So with road hierarchy, left to right, from your local, from your tiny roads and small roads, right up to your limited access highways, or as we call them here, motorways. And so you can see the road hierarchy in, now in full effect before I allow the urban development to happen. So you can see the big six lane limited access. So limited access is the actual official name for a motorway, being that only... Um, you can only get it on and off it at set interchanges. There's no urban development on it. And you won't find things like cyclists, walkers, or farm equipment on it. And it's also high speed. Anything from 90 kilometers an hour upwards, depending where you are in the world. 
So you've got your motorway. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, I can't see that because I'm in. Godfather. Hey, I've got the Godfather following me. You know that's not out on. Well, unfortunately, you've got to wait a lot of things in life, little one. Hey, streaming. Go and take it to mum. So you've got the motorways which bring the traffic in from outside of the city and in some cases across the city at high speed. Hey, son. How are you? I've totally ignored Juno this time. And then you come off at the interchanges and you have your six laners, although I'm using asymmetricals here for this case, but you can see the six laners here. You come off your big, which then form uh, your six laners or your five laners in this instance. Go from, um, bring your traffic off and then feed the traffic into your districts. So because I use districts and also connect between districts when you don't need to use a motorway. There's no zoning placed on those roads either, but your civic infrastructure can be found on it. Otherwise, because otherwise, if you put commercial or industry on it, the freight traffic interferes with the, the traffic flow. If you put residential on it, they're all bitch and whinge about the noise. From there, we have our four laners, which now feed into the districts themselves. Paradoxically, they might go from one district to another, but they won't go across multiple districts. So you now you've got the four laners that feed, cut to come off the six laners, and now feed into side the districts. And then we drop right down to our two laners, our shared spaces, our smaller asymmetricals, to take traffic right through the com uh, inside the community itself. Now for the zoning. No, not yet. I might just pause that for a second. Because that motorway is going to come instantaneous online. So what I'm going to do, just give me a second. I've just got to take a diversion. So that's road hierarchy. Um, that's industry, is it? I'm just going to take a detour. I've got to set up the cargo airport. Otherwise, we're going to run into... Because um, I'll have the simulator running tonight. And then you'll see how I do... Um, oh, okay. Okay. So that's actually got a... Uh, no, it doesn't. Where's that motorway connect? Oh, where's that? Okay, so this is going to be extremely high speed. All right. 72 meters. This is one of the very few times I'm going to use a motorway. I don't usually. I can see. Check this one moment. Rare for me to use these in this instance. But um, I think this is industry too, isn't it? Yeah, this is all industry. Okay, so I've got to be... Yeah. Okay. So it's just going to be a moment. i just got to connect this cargo airport up because when I run the simulator later today, I'm going to get um, stuck. Younglings. <laughs> yeah, you know it's salty. Great to have. It's just like when I watch Cybex stream and his kids come in, it's just great to do. They come in. I don't stop them coming in. Not anymore. I'd say my oldest will come in. She'll sit here with me and she'll commentate out Full City Skylines or The Sims 4. She was commentating The Sims 4 last night. This was funny. Um, the middle daughter will come in saying she'll want food. Then the younger son will just come in, pat the cats, harass the cats, point out to some, some things and take off again. It's absolutely fun and I enjoy it. Okay. 
so just give me a minute I just need to if you think I'm running backwards uh, yes I am because I need to get the cargo set up so that's two That actually needs to... Okay, so this is always fun. These bridges are pretty chonky. And I mean chonkers. Okay, so... If you think I'm running a, a one-way road... Oh, what is that? <laughs> yeah, salty. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll... I, if you don't mind me asking, do you have grandkids? Yeah. Okay, so. So. Well. And then we'll drop him down. Where's that road, by the way? It's there. So we'll bring him back around. One, two. Where's that roundabout? There. Okay, so I know how this is going to get handled. Uh, where are the no what are the nodes set up to be? Because that will actually determine... Ah, perfect. And you're thinking, what the heck am I doing? This. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that as a bridge. Six kids in there. Seventeen young. <laughs> oh, family matters. Family matters. Yeah, so we've got three at the moment. So the oldest is seven and the youngest is 18 months. The middle child is four going five this year. So uh, school age. So I'm going to loop him. Uh, he's going to be... Ooh. Um. Sorry? Oh. Woohoo. I'll be back in a moment, folks. Bio break. Oh, Twitch was having a normal moment today. Perfectly normal though. Chat would have flowed. Followers would have flowed. Streams. Uh, viewers can access the streamers. That's why it's like a why they no everyone's yelling at me I this is chat wouldn't play it. They could hear me, they could see Durpington. Miss Durpington. But they see the game? But they can see the game, the game's fine. Well they can see everything, but there was just she was just zero communication. Yeah, the chat kept just hokey poked itself. It was like I was watching, I went over quickly, I saw Jim streaming. Yep. He went from 67 to 0 to 5 and held him 5 and now he's only just gone back up. Because the problem is that's going to play Yuri Hell. A blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. 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 <laughs> 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 
Yeah, the girls are busy playing a bb blah 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 from this, uh, not despicable me, um, Hotel Transylvania. Okay, so we'll come back here. Okay, so up we go again. Uh, the nodes are sensitive today. I don't mind it, it's just like... Okay, so now we bring him around. So if you're wondering, yeah, I get this periodically, if you're wondering about the game music being played, this is, I've got the CSL music mod on, so that it will play music right across all of Cities, all of Crusader Kings, and all of Europa, uh, Univ Univ EUL 3 and 4. I can get it to play Stellaris as well, but, um... Uh, that keeps getting copyright notices, so it's just like... Oh, I know why it's going to do that. <laughs> so I've given up playing Stellaris music on stream. Oh, I might make that a ground asset. So if you're wondering what the heck I am doing, I am building a huge big cargo. I'm now going to run this backwards again. Because I've also got to factor in there is going to be um, industry in this area. I'm going to be doing... So I've got to factor that in too. That looks like that's elevated. Don't worry. Uh, if you're wearing wonky highways, yep. And now I'll turn that around. Whoops. Okay, so that's there, and I just need to drop him to a... A two? And make him no that's not gonna work so I need to go four okay so that's that done might actually make those um, ground assets take a look at these yep and then I'll just get the fencing out and take nodes off Now, if you're wondering why I did that, the reason for that is if you come down. Whoa! Sorry if I just get. You've got traffic coming from two opposing directions in very close proximity. Okay, one, it stops them crashing. 
like headlights going one way headlights coming the other that's quite and especially when it's i'm doing left hand traffic but this setup is in right hand traffic technical right hand traffic mode it would be very disconcerting to the drivers seeing headlights or cars coming to, to the other way on your opposite side that you're used to so the barrier is there to stop them being um confused uh confused and, and surprised thank you so that's why i've done it and i'll extend the fence further Hmm. so as you know i do left-hand traffic because the country i come from has left-hand traffic so in normal circumstances hence the word normal you are more than quite used to seeing traffic come down your left hand side uh, right hand side that is perfectly normal but there's no way you would expect opposing traffic to come from your opposite side your left hand side in this time you be th you would drivers would be automatically confused and stunned and that would cause accidents so we put up a fence to stop that from happening so if we turn around i might put another fence up there later same thing now if you're wondering what yeah so that is that done so all i need to do here is this lift that to 80 so that is why i have done that because yeah that would be quite disconcerting Okay, so back here all right so we've got the infrastructure laid out next thing i'm actually going to do is quickly do the pipes apologies i'm just having an early lunch at the moment so because this is a winter map you need um You need your winter pipes down, so heating. And the policy I've got is that the Sims business and industry cannot use electricity to heat their homes. They must use the heating, central heating. So this is where we're going. So this is... And that just saves your electricity bill. That said, I am running a nuclear power plant, so that would power the entire map anyway. However, because the map, because of the cold, um, I would quickly even overrun the, uh, overrun the reactors. So I supplement it with a district heating. Ooh, okay, we're gonna have it. So yeah, we you we use just I use district heating, so they have they they use district heating to heat themselves i'll show you the policy i've got enabled that um
So I'll show you the policy that I've got enabled that has this. Why are we janking there? Okay, so that's that. Um, so we've got the geothermal or the heating. Oh, auto save. Time for another sandwich. So we've got the um, heating plants in there. We also have the, uh, as soon as I stop derping, we also have the nuclear power plant available as well. So the policy I've got enabled is no, le no electricity for heat by the heating services. You can do, it, do the other one. But you're gonna, I'm going to even burn the reactors out. So I've also shoved in insulation. So that's that kind of policy you see in... <laughs> Did you see him? Yes, that's, yeah, that's some. So that policy is actually live in Russia. So up in their per, more permacold areas, they have nuclear power plants. And they tie their central district heating into it because the reactors give off so much heat. They bring in another, another um, water loop to the reactor. The reactors not only produce power, but they also produce. They will um, use this. They will send the steam out from the secondary loop out into the out into the city to power the central heating. So, hey, and it's all zero emissions, zero carbon. Okay, let's get back to this. So we've got all that in place. Um, next thing I'll do is... I just actually need to check these. So I just need to... Oh, now I'll just do some road stuff. So what I'm now doing is nickeling and diming. Or doing some housekeeping. The reason why I'm doing that, because the policy I've got in place forbids cars to enter the bus lane, I've actually got to go and uh, do this. Now, this would be a pure case of a... That would be better as an asymmetrical. I think that's a five-laner, though. Oh, it's not going to work anyway. Because the bus lanes have to be... So, yeah, I'm doing what's called um, nickeling and diming. So that's one. That's a cycle lane. I don't need to worry about him. Uh, we'll need to do it here. So I've just got to go back and just check all my... Technically it'll be for, for the entire stretch. If these start getting congested, I just do put in asymmetricals and just add in turning lanes. Um, that needs to be done there. Done for the entire stretch. In fact, there's not even no point making that bus lanes. That's fine. Ah. Oh. I could even technically make... Is that a five-laner? Problem is that bus lane's the other side as well. I should... Yeah, I should re... I am gonna... 
break protocol. And yeah, so they can't turn the, the service vehicles, but that doesn't matter. They've got this point to access. So I'm not particularly or overtly fussed. So yeah, I've got asymmetricals available. So that's fine. Next up is the roundabout. So I'm going to just... Usually I do these as I go, but I don't always. So I'll be right back again. Whoa. Right, we're back. So next part, building a city is a jigsaw puzzle. And it's a, a very intricate jigsaw puzzle. You've got your infrastructure, you've got your transport, you've got your, and with infrastructure alone, you have all your different definitions. So your transport infrastructure, your physical infrastructure, your civic infrastructure, your green infrastructure, your social infrastructure, and you'll probably all go, unless you're a planner or you know you're planning well, you're probably wondering, hell team, what the hell are you talking about? Um, it's all part of a very complex, but very dynamic organism that is a city. Literally it is. And I've played these simulator games since the days of SimCity 2000 and even SimCity Classic if you want to go back that far. Rip, just showing my age. But these games are very... I used to have these debates in high school. So you had those who were pro World of well, World of Warcraft is very intuitive and very interactive as well. So no 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 taking the piss out of WOW. But the the main one was the old FPSs versus the simulators like this. And it's just like two different dynamics. And it's just like my friends who used to be very do all the Counter Strike and that and them used to give me a hard time about doing the SimCity era. 
And I used to give them a hard time in CS on um, Counter Strike in return. So one day at a LAN party, we swapped, and boy did we struggle. I struggled with Counter Strike. They struggled with SimCity. Each has their own dynamics, and cities are very are very complex organisms. Those who've been watching the stream today, or have been watching me stream full stop, will see the amount of things I have to do in preparing the city before I can even zone, and that's before I can even let the simulator rip and get people, business, industry moving in. So at the moment I am now doing housekeeping and going through the roundabouts and doing what's called the Biffa Lane Mathematics Daddy. and making sure my roundabouts are... Daddy. Daddy. G'day son. Oh, have you found Juno? Leave Juno alone. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. And I'm now going through Each part of the each intersection now, line by line, to make sure this all works. Because a city is an intricate. It's either an in, you can see these are a very intricate, complex machine or a very intricate, complex organism. It's the sum of its parts, as well as the um, the parts being the sum of the whole. So it goes both ways. One little part fails and you risk the entire city unless you have a mac uh, rather remarkably built in high redundancy capacity falls over that's why it's argued by anthropologists of which i've done uh, of which is one of my trades as well cities would be considered the apex of human civilization. Not nations, they're artificial constructs. But cities. You look at how complex a city is with everything I look at what I've had to do before I can even let the simulator rip. And you've got all that spatial form and then you've got all the people coming together without the whole thing flying apart. Uh, sorry. Can I do the giveaways on these? And this is what makes the game, for me, so enjoyable. Is that complexity. Oh, I haven't watched Biffer in about a year now he um over commercializes and it's like, like it's like american infomercial like And it can be quite belittling. And you don't make fun of... Yeah, you don't do that. You don't. Like, Tahodra, too legit, and Captain Obvious play vanilla. I don't mock them for playing vanilla. Tahodra ribs, he doesn't mock. But the three of them don't mock um, modded players like myself and Yumble and Kaz in return. Okay, we all have our own game stay players, the game style. We all learn from each other too. Like I know Yumble's been in here and he's seen things I've done and he's applied it to his cities and vice versa. Kaz, Jedi, Soever. Like Soever now does roundabouts. Six months ago he wouldn't even go any, he wouldn't even think about it. Now he does roundabouts as SOP. But we all do very different gameplay. One of the one of the 
biggest, big, biggest examples of that is not the fact that I play modded, or that the fact I'm an IRL planner. It's the fact I play left hand traffic. And for some, it confuses the living daylights out of people. But at the same time, there's no way I could... Well, actually, I have done right-hand traffic. I have to do it for Transport Fever. And I have to do it for Tropico 6. But by God, it makes for very awkward experience. It makes for very awkward experiences. Believe me. It's not my first inclination to play. Oh, auto save. So yeah, don't rule the fun fans. Chat another Sim City uh, City fan says, don't mock another person's game style. Whoop! Now playing again. So that's the roundabouts done. I just had to do those quickly, otherwise if I don't... Um, I might treat him as a... That doesn't need to be traffic lights. So that's... Give way. I just need to go down and just check all my road spaces now, making sure we're not... Um, ending up in situations like this because traffic lights are oh, that needs to be traffic lit we don't need traffic lights here if that backs up I'll automatically convert it <clears throat> excuse me girls <laughs> it's raining so they're cooped up inside and so you can work out the rest I'll go to them in a minute, just make sure they don't totally riot. Okay. Hey Reaper, how are you? So ever rocks, yep. <laughs> I'll leave that for now. Yep, it's raining today, so the two girls are having fun inside. And son's having lunch. Right, so it was mint, as you could probably either hear or see, I'm having mints on toast. That's what the girls had earlier. And so then they're going to race. Um, I'm just going to, just going to, just give me a moment, folks. I think we will get that one. I'm just going to. Just going to chat what quicker, I just need to go and alter a command. I'm doing well, Rebus. It was raining earlier, so the kids are inside today. Um, Twitch was being Twitch earlier, which was dropping half the chat. And, or you couldn't f find strimmers. Which is like a typical day. Um, yeah, apart from that's going well, weekend starts tomorrow. Usual stuff. Yourself, how's things going with you? Oh, it looks like OBS has now gone down. Cute. Wow. Absolutely wow. Okay, well, I'll just have to... Well, OBS has gone down, so... Um, hmm. Okay, so that's that, that, and that done. So, what's next on the list? Um, civic infrastructure. 
So the way I do these is extremely methodical. But it's a recipe that works. So we've got a f large fire station there. So a four there. And... I might drop a four, drop a four there because they will also go over there as well, and then drop that in place. Okay, so that's that police. The po so I'm now using Kiwi assets, which is uh, so we need to do the police. And with civic infrastructure, I have a tendency to bunch it together because they form hubs. Pardon me. Now we need to go to healthcare. Now healthcare is a little bit more intricate these days than what it used to be of sucking down a hospital and away you go. Okay, so what do we got? So the big healthcare station is there and there. This is low density, so it doesn't need to be... So that goes there. With the crematorium going there. Yeah, ha ha ha. I've heard all the jokes about it before. So next up is child care. Because I've got Sunset Harbour, child care and health care need to be done. So that would go... Good things is these have massive catchment areas. So you only need one or two. And they usually overlap too. So um, I might drop a crematorium in uh, rip a doodle do. I've got fences there. I might drop another crematorium there. Yeah, it's been a total mess today. I know it's been dropping you you guys out from chat. So like I've been the stream's been fine. You've been able to see me, but you can't chat. It's like oh okay, <laughs> where's my chat gone to the oh oh um. It's been dropping followers out, as I was saying earlier. JJ Jim side was sixty. He dropped down to five. Now he's back up again. I had the same. It's bit, and then as Salty was telling me earlier, you load Twitch up, and it's like you can't even see who you subbed your who you sub to or who you follow on your left hand side. This is like, are they online or not? So it's like, yeah, Twitch has been one hot mess today. Okay, so um, where were we? Back to here. So we're doing healthcare. So that's in place now. This is a winter map, so we'll put in the saunas. Because I think you would, wouldn't mind a nice hot sauna for a winter map. Oh, the Stellaris soundtrack. Okay, so those are the saunas. No point putting in swimming pools unless you want to freeze. But we can put in one gymnasium. Okay, so that's the healthcare. <laughs> no point putting in tropical parks. Wrong climate. Okay, so schools. I've got to anticipate. Oh, Rexy! <laughs> we'll do a bit of overtime today. So, um, just the way Twitch has been. Okay, so do, do, do. one there. Ah, uh, when the Solaris tracks cross, however, it's like ah, oh, okay. Uh, because this is low density, I don't need as many as I would with high density, so that's okay. I am, I have got a large high school already in place. I'm aware of that. So, two should be more than enough. No point putting in libraries because they work the same as parks, which is like, well, that is the biggest load of rip. Oh. Yeah, that works too. 
Okay, so that's in position. Okay, what else do we need? Transit's done in a minute. Actually, no, zoning is done first before transit. Oh, no, no. Oh, I need to do garbage t too. I think I've already, is he already in place? Did I build him? Or not? This would be... Because I know you can only build one of them. So I'm just wondering, have I already built him? It's a big boy. He's a big chonker too. Chonkers. Where are going to put Mr. Chonkers? Yeah. It looks like I haven't built him. Okay. Good to know. So we'll put him. Yeah, okay, so it does do that. Now we'll go city wide. Doomsday Vault. I don't run disasters, so don't need and chirping uh, Lord Derpington. So we'll shoot back over to here. Go for my level sixes. Just gotta remember, I've got an airport nearby. So, Spucky Uni. I've already built Central Park, so I don't need to worry about him. Ooh, art museum. Okay, so he's been already built. So. This is why I like my big arterials. So that's that one. Level fives. Have I got anything for level fives? Aquarium or science center? Science center. So. It's going to look so out of place, it's not going to be funny, but whatever. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Oi, you two. Oh, okay. He's got a high noise area, so I've got to be very cautious where I dump him. Um, that's a very large noise area. It's going to be no residential in there, so that looks fine. Okay, parks. Oh, speaking of ad blocker thing, because um, I run the Twitch app for desktop, so I, you could do pop outs. First, so I can, like, for example, I might have KO on my main one, then the pop outs I might have, like, Yumble and Slay. And the pop-out ones, I get the, you are running an ad block, and get the boost screen every 15 minutes. It's like, dude, I'm running off your app. I can't do ad blockers for that. And it's just like, it's really annoying. So parks, 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 parks. So you also notice why the, z the zoning here, this is quite specific. Notice how the parks just neatly fit in. Okay, they won't in some aspects. That's okay. Because I can go back and connect the roads later. I might actually plop him there. Sometimes I'll do this. And so that's him. I will pop another one there. Okay, parks. So there's a park there, park there, park there. Hello, son. 
park there. Next up is the playgrounds, just seeing if we need any large playgrounds. Those, you'll see, you might see paths on these. They do connect. So you'll see what happens in a minute when I do um, start connecting them up. And just need one if I need any small playgrounds there and there. We have the odd doggy park there, 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 and because I'm so what I say. Oh, come on, behave. There. And there's no water, so no point. Oh, that's a nice big chonker. One of these. Plazas, and it's like, oh, rip, plazas, plazas, plazas. I know Tardra likes using them, but. Dun, 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 dun. Tourism. Ice hockey rink. Um, there and there and then I've got these guys skating rink skating rinky do 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 oh that's a nice little that works perfectly there and oh he's not gonna fit there is he is he Yes, love it. He's a big boy, and Rip. he mightn't be able to fit anywhere except. There we go. Fire pit, <laughs> and yes. They do set your city on fire like anything else. Trust me, been there, done that. I don't think that's operational yet, so I don't need to worry. Okay, next phase of the operation. Oh, shoot. Rip, 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 rip. Thank you. Oh, I did it again. I need to connect up the paths. But sometimes they don't um, form up perfectly. Turn anarchy on. And turn. So there. There, there, connected there, there, and there. So, yes, you can see with the parks, you can see how they connect up. So, now I'm just so you can see how I'm connect now connecting the pathways up to um. using my pathways to connect up to all the roads because believe me they use them build them they use them uh, there's no reason to connect back to that okay it's there but so that needs one there There. 
fast, so turn that back on. Oh, rip a doodle do. Turn that back on. Um, because it is a recreational spot. You will want to do that. Oh, really, game? What's with the depressive music? Come on. Oh, Mars Radio. Ugh. I need to turn that off. Better. Okay, so that is all connected up. So that's where we are. So now all the pieces have now been put together. Two more things to do. The zoning and the transit. Now the Kiwi assets are enabled, so I can't go high density. I might just bring the Metropolitan Centre slightly back because there's no um, high density assets for them. Mars ready! <laughs> Okay, so we've got the, so next is zones, the zones, people say the zones, right, so we'll go over to our mixed use. I'm now going to just work out where my districts are, otherwise I'm going to get um, derped. Uh, where, where are they applying to? I've just done a big boo-boo. Shoot. It's a six laner and I've told to put residential there. Massive no-no. So yeah, I'm um, just So that will need to be light. So I should have Okay, I'll I usually come back to the big these ones later on as depending on what the zone needs to be so that's fine okay so they're all fine okay um might just drop a, a bit there too. So now I can just now go straight to single use zoning. One, two, because I can use um, Rico to
uh, sorted out. So I'm using Kite's uh, mixed use zoning. Yeah, that seems a little in. Um, go back to the mixed use. Oh no! It's saying I'm all clear. I haven't. Oh no! One moment. Oh, hot diggity. That's annoying. I noticed that just went into solid red a few minutes ago and there was like nothing had changed. Oh well, we'll keep going. I'm nearly approaching the tail end of this anyway. I need to... Okay, so that's the zoning all set. To be on, uh, oh, I can't do that. I'm gonna need to recode those. Okay, uh, okay, so it's totally failed out. Okay, so it looks like it's localized. Okay, so we've got all that set up. So there's a couple of other things I haven't done yet. I need to set up four. Okay, so that's in place. I need to get the power in. Geothermal I want for this one. Because I need a booster. Um, okay, that won't be done there because that's a highway. So let's get in. What's the noise ratio on this? It's not going to interfere with that. I actually do want them on this side. So it's not going to interfere. I can see chat, so that side is working. So I just need to... No, I just got Okay, and then just drop the transformer in. Okay, so that's that done. I think these are guys are all sitting on power. No, they're not. So that is easily solved by.
done fixes that problem now connected to the other side of the grid um, I need to do two three uh, so roads maintenance I need one of these and I need one of these and uh, try that again I want one of those to give it a boost because one of those and then well, one of those otherwise we're going to get absolutely overwhelmed okay so that's there that's there that's there transit time so the metro is already in place so i don't need to worry about him now uh, auto save auto say I need to probably eat that transit line and redo it because it's now a loop <sighs> okay, wait for the auto save we'll get the transit set up and then we will raid because I'll run this in the background yeah I see it's dropping hmm Oh, the auto save's gonna have a dip. Yay. Oh, I've gotta do a metro line. Oh, fun. Oh, the auto save's gonna have a big derpy dip. Oh, that's interesting. The heavy rail takes more tourists. While the other lines take more residents. The monorail is pretty nearly evenly stacked, and the taxis are as useless as always. Oh, the auto save is gonna have a dirt, so everyone have a stretch. there we go okay transit time now we get to the meat and sandwich of the getting everyone moving so I need to go and yeet a doodle do yeah it was never not it was never going to compete out there you can even see it just wasn't going to work Okay, so let's do this. Hashtag let's do this. Start at Antarcticus. Um, actually, no, we'll start at the downtown because I can actually see where we're going. Okay, let's do this. So it's this side. Whoa, that's a lot of people on the monorail. If you're wondering, yes, this is a metro station, but I use Metro Overhaul Mod to convert it. Now I'm going over the... So we're now using... Uh, Transport Line Manager is now in effect. So I can see... What's going on. Hang on.
Okay, let's kind of carry on. Where are we? Oh. Everyone's going, oh, I'm getting vertigo. Oh, okay. I've got a subway station that's gone. Rip. So I need to go and have a look at that quickly. So that's one direction. Yeah, see, they've got better part there. More station options. And I need to go and see why there's a metro derping. That should be fine. I don't know why. That's particularly derping. Unless we've had flooding. Okay, so run we go. Very long scenic tour, but there's meant to be more development in there. That station's not going to get used immediately as extensively unless they all come up. Okay, so what's going on here? It looks like the... What's going on here? Oh, that's trams. Whoops. I might just come out. Have I got a normal subway station I can... What the heck is going on? Here. What has gone on with the metros? Okay, just one moment, guys. I got a metro lines derping. to them that's all fine so what is going on here I might need to do I might need to take the yeah the metro lines are playing up I'm not sure because that is they're all reading depot warnings It's like all the metro. I might have to redo. I'm gonna have to do all the metro lines again, but I'll. We'll do. I need to redo them anyway. 
So that's fine. So the quickest way to deal with that scenario is um, Yeah, see so there We'll Yeet them off And we'll do them again later So I will do those off stream uh, because yeah that's going to cause problems but for the moment we will do buses okay so where are we at okay so there is an, it is a subway line there so I don't need to bring buses there so I think it's So there, bees always get fun to do. So where are we at? Oh, we've got multiple ways we can skin this cat. Okay. Yeah, I know the way this is going to rump. All right. Hello, transport line manager's not showing up. Hmm, I don't like this. This will be a big loop service, so... Okay, so you're not going to recognize that. Okay, that's fine. So. Without transport line manager, this is going to be very interesting to see. Um, uh-oh. What have I done? Ah, oh, I've gone the wrong way. So it would be... Okay, yeah, I know why, because I've anticipated something else. And it's like, the game's gone. Haha, <laughs> no. So that's one line. So now we've got to go um, in reverse. So you do get a case of um, conflicting lines. I've just got to work out. So he's actually going to come out that way. See, this is going to um, double up. It's, that's okay. It's this is a big station, so so he would come out that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. I know how that's going to be run. That way. That way. That way. He doesn't need to go there. There's already a line there. So that's that one. Now I do need to come up the middle. So now we need to work it go backwards. So he needs to go there. Can he get out through? Yes, he can. Um, brilliant. 
so I don't want them on the, sitting on top of a rail, railway line. That's going to be the biggest pile of dirt. Okay, so this is where we use the arterials. Yep, so they'll service there. There. Um, you can tell which is going to become the you can tell which is going to become the busways and so on. There. Now we don't need them to run there. Because I'll feed back and go forwards. There. 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 Now if I do this one right, you would actually place him there. Oh. Okay, game. Rup. There. 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 Now he's on a major arterial, but there's no no jobs there. So he would go straight into there. I'm still have to redo the metro. So now we go in reverse. One there. There, there, a little bit further. Because I'll walk that, so there, 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 there's a metro station there I've got to factor in too. There. 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 I think those have got bus lanes, so. Oh, shoot. Um. Ah, oh, nuts. The way that one sits is... Hang on, what way is he going to come? Yeah, he comes all the way back around. Sorry, that is... He would actually do a loop. So he would actually come back here. He would then... Ooh. Oh, auto save. I was wondering, wait, what? I'll finish this transit line off and then I'm going to raid because I've got I've to do some fixing up off stream. Is that finished? there and there so that should have them all covered which means we don't have anything oh that's covered by metro so i don't need to worry all right we're going to stop there for the moment i am going to hand you guys off and then i'm going to fix this off stream and then we will be back on tuesday with more city skylines keep an eye on discord i might do a surprise stream on monday 9am to make up for today because i know that see we're it's cutting in and out again. Um, to make up for today because this has been all over the show. So in the meantime, I'll raid you guys off. I'm just going to do some fixing up off stream. Uh, yeah, and then I will be definitely back on Tuesday for sure with cities. Fail. Um, and if I do a surprise stream on Monday, yep. So we are going to know, because I know people aren't into that. I'm going to fix this off stream, and then we will be back on Tuesday with more City Skylines. Keep an eye on Discord, I might do a surprise stream on Monday 9am to make up for today, because I know that, see, we're, it's cutting in and out again. So we'll go over to 2Legit, he rated me last stream. So we'll go over. Because this has been all over the show. 
So we'll go over and say hello to two legit. I'm just going to do some fixing up off screen. So thanks for everyone coming today. Apologies, but yeah, Twitch has been derpy. And we'll see you all on Tuesday at the minimum.